Hello everyone, I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush. Thank you for joining us here on CIG Television on this Friday, June 16th, 2023. The Cayman Islands' is stable political environment, strong policy continuity, high government effectiveness and other positive factors have led international credit rating agency Moody's to affirm its high AA3 rating for the Cayman Islands. A Moody's rating committee was called to evaluate the rating of the Cayman Islands' as government on the 5th of June 2023 and found that the islands' economic fundamentals and economic strength have not materially changed since the last review in October 2022. Premier Honourable Wayne Panton shared the news of the rating at the Chamber of Commerce Parliamentary Luncheon earlier this week. Say all around the world, their jobs are seen as a sign of economic growth. Having a strong job market means that our people do have opportunities to thrive and earn a living. I am certainly pleased to, to note again that our unemployment rate is at the lowest that it has been recorded in decades. Overall unemployment being at 2.1% at the end of 2022. I think very shortly we will have the results of the most recent labour force survey. The 8th June 2023 rating action report by Moody's can be found in full to Moody's subscribers at moody's.com. Transitioning to tourism news, Minister Kenneth Bryan proudly spoke on the ethereal beauty of all three Cayman Islands during an exclusive interview with New York City's PIX11 News. Minister Bryan was in New York City for CARICOM's 50th anniversary and also participated in a special flag-raising ceremony for Caribbean Heritage Month. In other tourism-related news, the Ministry and Department of Tourism have coordinated specialized meetings between cruise industry executives, major attractions, suppliers, retailers, and tour operators on Wednesday, June 21st. These face-to-face -face meetings will take place during next week's Florida Caribbean Cruise Association Platinum Associate Membership Advisory Council Conference and will, be, and will allow ease of accessibility between local stakeholders and visiting cruise line executives. We aim to assist the private companies by fostering communication and encouraging cruise lines to purchase local goods and services and identifying any concerns or opportunities that can help Cayman's cruise tourism sector to flourish. There are two sessions available catering to a wide variety of sectors within the cruise industry. Session one will accommodate entities that manage tour operations or shore excursions, and session two will cater to entities that manage port operations, itinerary planning, and retail. The meetings are open to local companies who hold contracts with or aim to engage in talks with cruise lines. Companies can register up to two people online at gov.ky forward slash tourism dash transport. The deadline to register is Monday, 19th of June at 5 p.m. As a reminder, on this coming Monday, June 19th, the King's official birthday will be celebrated in Cayman with the traditional events. First, there will be a parade in front of Government House beginning at 9 a.m., which features contingents from the uniform, services, and club organizations. Later at 4 p.m., the King's birthday party will take place on the Government House lawn. The public is encouraged to wear their best uh, outdoor elegant attire and medals are encouraged. Turning now to our local weather, tonight's forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of late night showers and possible thunder. Temperatures will fall to the upper 70s and winds will be east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be moderate with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet. The outlook is for similar weather conditions through Sunday morning. To find the latest uh, local weather conditions, go online to weather.gov.ky and the Weather Services Facebook page. And remember, you can watch all CIG TV broadcasts on demand on the Cayman Islands Government YouTube channel. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush. Thank you for joining us. Please tune in again on Tuesday, June 20th. Until then, we wish you a very good long weekend and we look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday, June 20th.